Hey, free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So I'm very excited to showcase Biondina today because she is possibly one of the only experts in this game that is hated on by so many people. And I find that remarkable because I don't think there's anything wrong with her. Um, so I'm gonna go through a little bit of Biondina and her entire kit and what makes her so powerful in my opinion, all right? Okay, so for today, we are gonna do it more in a let's play style. So I'm not gonna show you a recording of like the runs that I've done. We are gonna take a look at holo battles in particular. So she's good in two places, okay? Primarily two places. The first place is going to be the point wall because take a look at her captain ability. Increases ally attack in the point wall by 40%. This is huge. Very strong against the tanky meta. And the second place that she's really good at is going to be holo battles, which is what we're going to take a look at today. So before we take a look at her skills, do take note that I have not skilled her up at all. So she's currently underperforming her max potential. So Tidal Wave deals damage to an enemy equal to 100% of attack with an 80% chance of inflicting buff blocker for two turns. Now, if the target is unbuffed, you increase the damage you deal by 50%. So basically at base level, this does about 150% attack. But if you fully upgrade this skill, you know, it goes up to 170%, which is not bad for a first skill. Now next we have the Tsunami passive. This is notorious for being a bad passive because it randomly targets enemies. So this is something that I think should change in the future, right? So anyway, dispels one buff from a random enemy with a 70% chance of dispelling all other buffs at the start of each turn gives priority to targets with buffs. This is the important part. Now this effect is guaranteed not to miss, so you do not need accuracy on her, okay? And obviously this is very scummy, but if you skill her up to the max, that's how you get an extra dispel chance of 100%. And finally, we are gonna move on to her third skill, which is Fury of the Waters. Now this skill is very powerful against a tanky meta because it is potentially able to one-shot a lot of the defensive-based espers. So deals damage to an enemy equal to 50% of attack, plus damage to all enemies equal to 20% of attack. It is just 70% on your main target, okay? It's just 70%. But the attack ignores 100% of defense of unbuffed targets. Now, if your enemies are buffed, then you know the damage reduces a little bit, right? However, do take note that this skill improves until your damage becomes 95%, which is quite a significant difference from 70%. But you're still gonna see that this skill is extremely powerful. Okay, so let's take a look at her relics, and she is very easy to build. You just need War Machine on her and probably Fiery, and that's good enough, all right? So the stats that I'm going for is going to be, a uh, well, decent crit rate, a lot of crit damage, and of course, a lot of attack power at the same time. Speed is just a bonus, okay? So you don't necessarily need to give her so much speed depending on how you're gonna build her, depending on what kind of team you're gonna run her with. Now, do take note that, you know, my crit rate isn't the highest and that is because I'm only going to use her with Dahlia. So do take note that Dahlia buffs crit rate and attack percentage and AP as well, which is why she is so good with Biondina. And as always, we are gonna end off with her ascensions. So she has flat attack, flat defense, HP percentage plus 10%, attack percentage plus 15%, and crit damage plus 25%. This is very big. This is not very common, by the way, to see a huge 25% crit damage. So she has the potential to do a lot of damage. And that's why, as you can see here, I have 185% crit damage. This is not the highest that I've ever had, of course, but this is going to be good enough. Okay, so we're going to take a look at holo battle as promised, right? So we're going to pick specific fights that, you know, are able to showcase Biondina's effectiveness over here. Okay, so this comp is perfect. There is an enemy Dona over here and you'll be able to see exactly why she is so strong. Okay, so I'm going to introduce to you what true meta is. Okay, so take a look at this Esper over here, Jeanne. I talk about her a lot, but you're going to see exactly why she is so powerful in this situation, all right? So let's start the battle. And hopefully, just hopefully, you get to see exactly why uh, Jeanne is going to be so effective with Biondina. Okay, we got the first turn, so we are going to buff our attack and crit rate and push our AP a little bit. Okay, you know what? Let's just stun everyone. Okay, we got a stun on Dona. Perfect. Okay, nice. Wow. <laughs> Our passive landed on Dona. Perfect. Okay, so let's take a look at her third skill. I mean, honestly, that shield doesn't really matter so much. But let's see how much damage we can do, okay? So do take note that this is just 70% of her attack on Dona. And let's see what ignore defense can do. That's it. I feel like we may not be able to showcase why Jeanne is so good, but okay, so I'm just gonna humor you and show you exactly why Jeanne is perfect. So take a look at Jeanne's third skill, Beat Burst. Okay, so deals damage to one enemy equal to 120% of attack, plus 12% of the target's max HP, dispels 
all buffs and inflict stun for one turn. This is perfect against Dona. So for example, if the Dona already has like an immunity buff and a defense buff, you're going to strip all of it and stun him. And that also removes Dona's passive buff, right? So that completely strips Dona clean and that's where your Biondina goes. So that is the thing, right? So Biondina, she doesn't do a lot of damage, right? 30,000 on an ignore defense is not a lot. As compared to like, for example, you have Esper such as Lin Xiao who can deal upwards of 90,000 damage in a single punch. This is nothing. But the thing is, because she ignores defense, she is the only one capable of one-shotting a Dona. Okay, except for maybe Tang Yun, right? But she is the only one who is capable of guaranteeing a one-shot on a Dona any given day. So, we do not have buffs. I'm not actually sure whether this counts as a buff. I think this counts as a buff. So, maybe Armor is an actually good counter against Biondina. But let's just see how painful like a 150% attack can be, right? 20,000. That's that's not a lot, right? So that's the reason why she's not so good in uh, PvE content. Because in PvE content, it is not so important that you can ignore defense. It is more important that you can deal a lot of regular damage. That is something that Biondina doesn't really have, right? So 20,000, that's like, dude, even a Drew can do a lot better than her, right? All right, let's take a look at her third skill again. Let's see how much damage we can do. Dude, I just realized that it was a lot more than 30,000 damage, right? So previously, Dona, he died instantly. That's why we didn't get to see the second proc of her attack land. So essentially, it's more than 30,000 damage. It was probably going to be like 40-something thousand damage. That's definitely enough to not just one-shot your Dona, but to one-shot Hyde as well, assuming that you do not miss, all right? Okay, so I think the second fight is going to be a little bit interesting because they have a Hyde in the mix, and that could potentially ruin me if I'm not lucky, okay? But as always, we're going to try to go for the Dona ASAP and probably take him out on the first turn and that should be okay. As usual, we're going to buff our attack and crit rate. Okay, so it doesn't seem like the Clara is going to cut in between which means that I'm just going to have to stun her first, right? Make sure that she don't use any of her buffs. Yeah, we got it. Okay, Whoa. okay, so we get it. So her second skill, right, cool rhythms actually absorbs AP. So that's pretty awesome. Really good counter against Hyde. Well, as long as we don't miss, right? So we're going to go ahead and I think just normal attack the Dona just to weaken him a bit. Not that it's really necessary. Let's see how much damage we can do. Bam! Instant kill, dude. Okay, so now we can, you know, resume like the stuns, right? So let's beat burst. We got the stun, very nice. Ooh, ouch. Okay, so that is going to be a huge problem. We need to make sure that the height gets killed ASAP. So we're going to go ahead, chop the Clara. Okay, that's done. Um, And this is going to be a problem, right? Our Biondina needs to, <laughs> needs to, needs to land her crit. If not, we are screwed. Okay. We need to crit right now. All this, all this showcase is gone. <laughs> no! Wow, well, what do you know? We are doing point wall. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a perfect comp that we can counter using our Biondina. So let's go ahead and see, you know, what she can do potentially in point wall as well. Wow, I can't believe I outsped them. Okay, we're going to go ahead, buff our attack as usual. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, strip. Hopefully, we proc our Zeus on the Tricky. And we did not do it, so we have to force stun him like that, right? So we're gonna go ahead and, well, hopefully RNG serves us well today. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we got a stun, nice. Oh, that didn't amount to anything, right? Okay, doesn't matter. So now our Biondina still has a turn and she is not stripped. So that's the most important thing uh, about dealing with the tricky there, right? So we're gonna go ahead, cleave him immediately. So I think what we are gonna do now is to get rid of the Cecilia, and at the same time, you know, make sure that they are completely stun locked. So we are going to go ahead and triple stun like that. Oh, we failed to stun. That's fine. Okay, so let's see how much damage we can do to the Cecilia. Can we kill her in one hit? We cannot. Oh wow, she's super tanky though. Okay, we're going to continue to try to take out the Cecilia so that when Dona comes back, we have our third skill ready to snipe him, alright? Hopefully, hopefully that works. Come on, can we do this? Please. So it's definitely not a very fast way for you to clear the arena, right? So. It's still a long process, long and tedious process, and you will need to plan your steps a little bit more. Okay, so here you go. Um, we have a miss rate up, but that doesn't really matter so much. I think what we're gonna do is we're not actually gonna aim the Dona. We are actually gonna go for the Clara because we are still gonna do a little bit of AOE damage. Hopefully that works. Hopefully that takes out the Dona. Yes, 
we did. That's it. GG. We are done. So I think that's about it for the Biondina showcase. Obviously, my Biondina is not even perfected because she's not even maxed out at all. In fact, she does not even have a single drop of skill ups on her. So she's very fun to play, especially for like PvP content, right? So if you are crazy about PvP, then she's going to make a lot of sense if you want to, you know, eventually have some espers that cover all the different niches that you do not yet have. So like, for example, Biondina is really good against like the tanky meta right now. Well, obviously, if you know how to use her perfectly, she is not exactly that easy to use. So when you're starting out using Biondina, you might be feeling like, oh wow, it's so hard to run her without, you know, your entire team dying all the time and all that. And yes, it's kind of like a mixture between speed meta and a slow meta at the same time. And it's not really tanky meta, right? Because you are using a Biondina. You're not exactly using like tanky espers and I feel like we're going to die over here. But yeah, still something for you to consider if you have not already considered building her. But if you're an early game player, definitely stay very far away from Biondina because she's not going to help you with your chronos. She's not going to help you with your up pep she's not gonna help you with like maybe even a temporal tower right she's not gonna help you with anything except for pvp so that's basically it hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to leave a thumbs up it really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content now this has been daddy free to play and as always i will see you in the next video